Facebook, the world's salon. It has become a microcosm of society in just a few years. A movie has been made to chronicle its creation, and the average user spends 24 minutes per day browsing Facebook from their phone alone. It has become an addiction, a time sink, currently without a cure. If you become addicted, you need to seek immediate intervention services. We have found a quick eight-step program to save your life. Once you become addicted, you will experience the following symptoms. A paranoid need to check your wall constantly. An illusion that you have way more friends than you actually do. How, about how many Facebook friends do you have? I have about 1,030 right now. How many Facebook friends do you have? Just over 100. Probably like 500, 600. How many people do you talk to on a regular basis, like in real life? Basically, see, talk to like 50 of them every day almost, it seems. Okay, so 50 out of 1,000 yeah. plus. How many real life friends do you have that you talk to on a regular basis? Like five. Like five or ten, depending on who's in my classes and stuff. The assumption that ambitious comment, ambiguous comments somehow pertain to you. A vegetative state resulting in loss of productivity. The perception that you can block people out of your life forever. A constant need to creep on your friend's walls. A need to check on virtual crops more than most farmers check on living ones. It's been nearly four hours and my blueberries aren't ready to harvest. And neither are my sheep. Now, the eight step program to stopping your addiction. Step one. The first step to curing every addiction is to realize and admit that you have a problem. Step two. Form a support group, preferably of individuals who do not use Facebook. Step 3. Remove availability to access Facebook. Change your password to something you cannot possibly remember, like popcorn1234. Step 4. Some places specializing in Facebook detoxing state to formulate a list and remove your friends you don't truly associate with. We think something more drastic is in order. Before deleting your account, Create a hit list with individuals you don't know. After you delete your account, the FBI will not be able to isolate such randomized killings. Step 5. Remove Facebook.com, Facebook screeners, Facebook apps from your cell phone, browser history, and bookmarking, and other access points. Step 6. Shamelessly inform the world and the ever-prying eyes of Mark Zuckerberger that you, in your infinite willpower, have decided to become a hipster and have rejected the mainstream force that is Facebook. Proceed to don lensless Ray-Bans. Step 7. Finally, have a random stranger enter their password as the new password on your account. Then create a random email, also with that random stranger's password, Reset the email on your Facebook to that email, subsequently remove your profile picture and personal information, then as your final action, rename yourself Jane or John Smith, and then deactivate the account. Step 8. Relax and take a vacation to a remote area of the world without internet access for a minimum of 21 days.